Today, I'm gonna to show you guys my go-to formation tactics and instructions on FIFA 23. I use this formation pretty much all week in league. I rarely change to different tactics. Obviously, if I need a goal, I'll go super attacking, but when it comes to going really defensive i don't do that too often i just stick to this because one i don't like playing super defensive and two i feel like it messes with my mind and more often than not i actually end up conceding a goal now before i go into everything i do want to say i found all of these tactics formation instructions from twitter i don't know who it was from it was months ago like in 2022 that long ago i have adjusted it a little bit to fit my liking and more so how I play, but shout out to the random Twitter account from a very long time ago that gave me this setup. Anyways, the formation we're going into is the 4-3-2-1. Surprise, surprise. This is easily one of the best formations in the game at the moment. A lot of people run this formation, or if you're an absolute rat, you're out there running the 5-4-1. Starting off with the tactics, we have defensive style press after possession loss. This is pretty broken, and there are so many goals that I scored just from this being on and the dude making a defensive mistake and you just have an easy tap in or a sweat across goal and boom, you score. For my width, I keep it pretty simple at 45. And then for my depth, I have it on 75. When you have it at this high of a depth, I don't like to sit back in my own goal. I absolutely hate that. I feel like it invites the pressure and I, I don't like that. So I make it 75 and when it's this high, it's kind of like an automatic offside trap. So your back line is constantly going to be pushing, 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 trying to kind of get your opponent out of your own box. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate when my back line is just sitting so far back in my own box. So this helps out with that, but I still find myself spamming offside trap, trying to push my back line forward. Going into offense now for build up play, I keep it pretty basic on balance. If I'm going super attacking, you know, maybe I'll go long ball or fast build up. But for this formation, this setup, I keep it on balance. Chance creation, pretty straightforward. You know, pretty much everybody uses direct passing. It is really solid. My width on offense, I don't really touch it. I keep it on 50. Players in the box, I have it on five. I have sometimes occasionally put it on seven if I want to be a bit more attacking, but I have found with this setup, I prefer to have it on five. Maybe if I'm running like an attacking five back formation, I put it on seven. But since I'm going with the four back, I'm using it currently on five. For corners and free kicks, it's really all up to you. It's what you choose to do. Do you want players in the box? Do you not want players in the box? It's your choice. I really on corners, just play it short, hit it to the top of the box, I shoot it. It's not anything, it's not rocket science what I do. It's just pass, shoot. Now onto the juicy part where all the magic happens. We're gonna take a peek at the instructions. Before I go into all the players with the instructions, I wanna explain kind of how the formation moves. It all flows in a certain way. So when you're setting it up, you're gonna choose one side to be more attacking and another side to be more defensive. So for me, I want Jao Cancelo to be my attacking wing back. I'm gonna have Capta Villa as the more defensive one. And because of that, the Mbappe is going to move in centrally. The Jao Cancelo can move forward, take up that space. And the Yaya Torre pretty much covers for Jao Cancelo going forward. And then the left side is just normal defensive doing their job. So to go into the instructions now and go around how all that ends up happening, we have stay central on the striker, stay forward, getting behind. On pretty much all my attackers, any formation, or tactic instruction setup that I have, any forward or winger, I pretty much always have get on and behind. It's just constantly testing your opponent's back line and pushing them back. Onto the right center forward now. This is the side that I have attacking. If you have the left side attacking, it's just you switch depending on who you have. So Cancelo goes forward. So that means my right center forward, AKA Mbappe, needs to be on stay central. So he goes into the middle more, get him behind, come back on defense as well. Alo Iron, he is the one that's not staying central. So he is on balanced, get him behind and come back on defense. Onto the midfielders. This is where I'm a little different with my team. Now you want at least two midfielders, one of them to be a CDM and the attacking center mid, the one that you choose to be attacking and going forward a bit more, 
Sometimes people just use a forward. Like Alo Wyron, a lot of people use him as a center mid that gets forward. I I've done that in the past, but I'm not like super crazy about that. I really like to have three midfielders, one really defensive, a box to box, two box to boxes pretty much. But Bernardo Silva, you know, I do try to have one of them be a bit more attacking. Like I had KDB as my attacking center mid. And right now I'm trying out this Bernardo Silva. Anyways, back into the instructions. The midfielder that you're going to have more attacking is on the opposite side of the side that you're attacking on. So Jao Cancelo is on the right, who's my attacking midfielder. It's going to be Bernardo Silva at left center mid. I have him on balanced attack. Get into the box for the cross, normal interceptions, and cover wing. Uh, this is where it's kind of different. What you're supposed to do is have Yaya Torre, the one that's covering for Jao Cancelo, on cover wing. So Yaya Torre is supposed to go out wide and cover for that space when Jao Cancelo goes forward. But I've tried it that way, and I don't know what it is, but the way I play, I feel like I concede way more goals doing that. And I... I play worse. I don't know why, but this is where I'm kind of different from most people. But yeah, yeah, it's all right. For the right center mid, stay back while attacking, balance, crossing runs, normal interceptions, cover center. Other people usually have it cover wing, but this is just how I run it. Cover center. And then Bernardo Silva, I have on cover wing, but it should be the other way around. I prefer it this way. I'm going to test him out as cover center. I do want to try that out, cover center balanced attack might even try get forward to see if he runs like a center attacking mid roll and, and kind of just roams a bit more i want to see how that plays but this is what i'm using at the moment and then your central midfielder that is the defensive one you can put him on stay back while attacking but i prefer to have him on drop between defenders balance crossing runs i'm actually going to try out stay on edge of box for cross just because i don't want him to move forward too much Normal interceptions, cover center as well. Now, I personally like having my central midfielder on drop between defenders. He plays a fairly deep role. And what I've noticed is if you guys are sweaty, you do the German cross. It's one of, you know, a, a really OP way of scoring, really sweaty way tactic of scoring in this game. It's stupid. And I find when I have Turam in that drop between defender role, the central midfielder, I can pass the ball off and he can make that attacking run into the box from deep. And I score German crosses fairly easily doing that. But that's my setup for the center midfielders. Two of them on stay back while attacking. Well, one drop between defenders and then the other one on an attacking type of setup opposite of the side that you are attacking from. Now, onto the defense, the back line with the attacking side. Jao Cancelo, I don't have him on join the attack. I don't have him on stay back while attacking because stay back while attacking, guess what? He's not really gonna be getting forward. So balanced attack, conservative interceptions. I'm actually changing this to normal interceptions because I feel with conservative, with press after possession loss, I feel like sometimes they're not going to press as much because they're more so conservative. So since he's my attacking wing back, I'm going to put him on normal interceptions. I'm going to try that out for a little bit. I think that will run better. And then overlap. Make sure you have him on overlap because he will be going wide and taking that space that Mbappe would have been taking. But, but Mbappe is going central now and Cancelo takes up that space. On to these center backs. I don't touch anything on them. You know, pretty basic. Stay back while attacking. It, that didn't touch them. And then for the left back, stay back while attacking. Conservative interceptions because I don't really want him pressing too much. I want him to stay back. You know, maybe if a counter over the top is coming, he's pretty fast. He can cover. He can cover for that. And then overlap as well, just in case Captain Villa does decide to go forward he is overlapping i don't want him cutting inside he will be out wide on to the last player we have our goalkeeper i have him on come for crosses i highly recommend that and saving outside of the box sweeper keeper balance do whatever you want i don't really touch this if i have my keeper come out it's something i usually tend to just do manually that is going to be it for my formation tactics and instructions i hope i have helped you guys out these tactics have allowed me to get 18 wins a few times this year pretty easily and i'm a trader i don't sit here and play the game a, a crazy amount i do play but usually i'm you know here on the menus trading helping people make coins if you want to make coins subscribe 
watch this YouTube channel. I do daily trading videos, but that's basically it guys. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments section down below. My free trading discord and my Twitch live stream is also in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.